So um, we just finished doing the um, empanada. I hope you enjoy that video. And it's tomorrow it's gonna be Valentine's Day. So that's why we did the empanada, something quick. Um, I'm gonna marinate this ribs because we're gonna do some ribs and I'm gonna show you how I marinate my ribs. What I do is, I cut between the ribs. I cut between, between the bone. And I don't go through the whole ribs. I don't go through the ribs. I'll go and do I'm gonna show you what I'm doing and I'm gonna tell you why I do it. And that's because when I put all the seasoning and everything, it's gonna go through those gadgets. But if you see this fattening tissues here, that's what you don't want. You don't want that fattening thing. If you could remove it, you could sometimes remove it with your hands just like that. Like I'm re 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 removing it, you see that? So basically, I'm gonna show you. You see how it opens like this? But I didn't cut through the meat. I didn't cut through the meat. And that's, that's what you want. You want something like this. You see, you don't cut the meat. You don't go through. Cause you see those wedges in there? All the season and everything is gonna go through there. Okay? And like I say, you could take the fatty, the this tissue out. You could take it out if you like. It doesn't bother me to take it out or not. I don't really care. I'm not gonna waste my time taking it out because I wanna marinate this and I wanna live it for tomorrow. And tomorrow we're gonna eat it, but I'm not gonna spend my time doing all that. I mean, if you wanna do it, you got all the time in the world, go ahead, be my guest and do it. I'm not doing it, not today, nope. So what I'm doing is, so I did this, so you don't go through. You only go, you don't go through, you see this? You see that? You could individual, just like that. And that's what you want to see. So on these ribs, what I like to do is that in there. So what I do is a little bit of vinegar, and this is apple cider vinegar. And I'm gonna put some in there, just like this. A few drops, some in there, just like that. I'm gonna go like this. Mmm, that vinegar smells good. Smells good. My wife is laughing behind the camera. She thinks I'm nuts. I could be nuts. Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, you put vinegar. What else are you gonna put? You're gonna put some olive oil, of course. Me and my olive oil. And you know me, I'm not shy. Not with the olive oil. Can be shy with olive oil. I like olive oil. You see how all this is going through inside the meat just by doing those those cut in there. You see how it goes. So next thing I'm gonna add sofrito. Yes, I do use the sofrito, and I'm gonna use it here. And basically, if you don't know what sofrito is, it's a blend of onions, green peppers, cilantro, garlic, and I got a video. If you want to see how I did my sofrito, I got a video on it. So you put sofrito on it, and it doesn't have no salt or pepper. You have to still season it. But it's got all that good stuff that you're gonna put See, and you put it in the, you put it inside the crevices, right there. See this? And you could use two hands 
to do it. I want to show you. I want to show you what I'm doing here right now. So look, if you could see, you see how the sofrito is inside already? Look, all that. And you know the sofrito has garlic and everything else. We're still gonna put more garlic. But look how pretty this is it. Turn it. And I haven't seasoned it and just for the sofrito, it looks, it's, Smells good. Smells good. Now I gotta rinse my hands because I'm not gonna touch with my hands like that all dirty. Or my assistant is gonna give me black pepper. I'm gonna put some black pepper there. Don't be shy. There you go. Okay, we're gonna put some garlic. I got a spoon right there. You don't wanna touch nothing with your hands like this. It's got pork. Pork is not good to touch as anything. Yeah, go ahead, put some. Don't be shy on the garlic. I like garlic. Mmm, smells so good. Now we're gonna put some complete seasoning. We got complete seasoning. There you go. That's it. We got garlic powder. I know what you're saying, it's gonna taste like garlic. Nah, it's not gonna taste like garlic. Garlic's awesome. That's it. We're gonna put some cumin. Some cumin in there. Because the cumin, what it does to the meat, the pork, if, it's, if, if the pork is really uh, uh, gamey, like sometimes it smells strong, it tastes strong, the cumin helps that. Um, we're gonna put some paprika. I like putting paprika and oregano. Yeah. And now we're gonna go and mix, we're gonna rub it all together. Everything in there, oh my God, it smells so good. And we're gonna use our fingers and inside the, inside of those, Step that I did, just, just put them all inside. You see? You're gonna put them inside. That's what you want. You go like this and just keep rubbing it, rubbing it until they go inside. Look at that. It all disappeared already inside. So now we did this side. Now we're gonna do this side. And basically on this side, we only gonna put black pepper, garlic powder, paprika, and complete seasoning. That's it. And that's it. Yep. And then we're gonna put that black pepper. There you go. It smells so good now. There you go. Mm. And then more paprika. And that's how I do my ribs. And yes, we're gonna put some barbecue sauce, but we're not gonna put it yet. We're gonna put it when it's time to cook and it's time to be in the oven. Now we're gonna place this, we're gonna marinate it for a whole day Oh, it smells good. It smells really good. Um, we're gonna marinate this. Look how pretty it is. Look how pretty it looks. It looks beautiful. It just, I don't know if your camera could take this, but it looks so beautiful marinated. Look at inside. Look how, how marinated is inside. Look at that. So we're gonna lift this overnight and it smells amazing amazing and then tomorrow that it's Valentine's Day uh, we're gonna put it in the oven and we're gonna put it for 
I'm gonna leave it there for, I wanna say, uh, three, three hours, three to four hours. But we're gonna put it at 250, temperature at 250. You can put it at 200 or 250, whichever you like. Um, I'm gonna cover it and I'm gonna leave it there for three hours, four hours, slow cook. And then after that, we're gonna leave it for 45 minutes more and we're gonna put it, we're gonna put the fire out. We're gonna put it to 350 and then we're gonna add some barbecue sauce and, but I wanna show you the process of marinating the ribs and you could do any ribs like this. So I'm covering it with plastic wrap and I'm gonna leave it overnight until it marinates. And that's it, just uh, cover it.